Hey, what's up guys? Sermo11 here. Today I will be doing my first impressions on Log Horizon, which I think I watched today. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I watched this today cuz uh it was after 12. Um watched the first two episodes of Log Horizon. This anime came out last year. It was part of the previous season and it has 25 episodes, so it's going to keep going. So I decided, "Hey, what the heck? I'll pick it up." Um, I was going to pick it up during the last season, but, you know, school and everything, so I didn't really pick up that much anime. And I've been on winter break for two weeks, and then it got extended, so this is our third week. So we've almost been out of school for almost, I mean, um, we've been out of school for almost a month, which is crazy. And, you know, the challenge just felt somewhat dead, because I was at home all day, really didn't make any... I didn't really make that many videos during my break, and I didn't have time to do it either, even though I was bored every day. I just didn't have, like, access to the microphone, if you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, this anime is ongoing, which is cool. So the basic story is that an expansion pack for this game called Elder Tale comes out, and then... Basically, you know, an expansion pack, they added something onto the game. And these players logged in. I think it's 30,000. Yeah, I believe. They got trapped inside the game. And it's similar to Sword Art Online, but I don't know which one came out first. Like, someone, people were making big deals about, oh my god, this is a ripoff of Sword Art Online. Shut up. You're stupid. It's not a ripoff. I heard that Lock Horizon came out first, but I'm not sure on that one. But I do know, like, um, Log Horizon, it started as just, like, um, you know, like, people post their stories online. That's how it started. So I feel like, hey, I, if I have a story, I could post it online, and maybe it'll get big. But I guess that's more in Japan. And I think Sword Art Online was entered into a contest, or was that Excel World? I believe both creators have different, uh, two different series. Yeah, because creator Sword Art Online has Excel World, Sword Art Online. This creator has this one. And then I think that he has another series called Maho something, which got an anime. That's just pretty cool, you know. You make these light novel series, and then you get your own anime for uh, each one. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, the expansion pack came out uh, for this game called Elder Tale, and they haven't explored it really, but they've talked about it. Um, from what I've seen, it's like a volcanic area, wh which was added onto the game. And the opening is very different from Sword Art Online. Uh, and sort of online, you know, they're in this, uh, the town of beginnings, I believe it's what, that's what it's called, and, you know, Akih Akihiko Kayaba, his name is hard to say, he comes out and, you know, this is my world, blah, 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 you're trapped in the game, um, you die in the game, you die in real life, everything's all serious and stuff, and I guess that's what really attracted a lot of people to sort of online, and this one's a little bit different, you know, they all just log into the game, and it's like, hey, we can't log out, what's going on, and then you, it's it's not that serious. It's not at that serious level yet. That's how I feel, you know, like Sword Online, you go right into Sword Online, things are serious. You go into this series and you're more confused. You're like you're more in a confused mood than a, a serious mood. And yeah, it just it just seems a little bit more mysterious cuz we don't see the creator of the game. We don't we haven't learned who that is either. Um it's just they're trapped in the game. And that's where I would have to say Sword Art Online started out stronger. But a lot of people don't like the later parts of Sword Art Online. And this series is probably more into the gaming X aspect. While Sword Art Online was not as much. And the main character, his name is Shiro. I believe he's a mage. I'm not sure. Because they have different classes. Because the other guy... I don't know all the characters' names yet, because I'm only on the third episode. But the other main character, his class is Guardian. Is that supposed to be a knight or something? He had armor on, so I thought he was like a knight. But then it's a Guardian class, and the class is basically uh, guarding things. <laughs> um, and then the other character, I think her name's Atsuchi, Ak Akasuchi, or something like that. She's um, an assassin. And then our subclass is Tracker. And yeah, don't quote me on the main character, but I know about the I know about this girl. And each character has like a subclass and everything. I like the subclass concept. That's really cool. I 
haven't really played that many RPGs to like know all this stuff. Uh, I believe all these concepts are in MMO RPGs, right? I don't play those that often. I played one a few years ago. It wasn't as intense as this. So it was actually in 2D, so that's kind of lame. And I don't know, it was kind of boring to me, but I like watching the stuff as animes. And of course, the main characters are really strong. I believe that uh, it was stated that they've all made it to the level cap, which is level 90. And I guess we don't know, maybe the expansion pack might add something onto the game. But I don't really know how much that benefits the story when you make the character really strong. Because, you know, like in Sword Art Online, Kirito was pretty much one of the strongest players in the game, besides someone else. But I don't want to say their name if you haven't seen Sword Art Online. And, um,. Yeah, just, I guess making the characters stronger, you know, they've already played the game. It's more insightful that way, because if they uh, were noobs, it'd probably be a problem. And visually, I would say Sword Art Online looks better than this, and I'm still comparing it to Sword Art Online. <laughs> uh, I don't know, just like the visuals and everything, the way Sword Art Online was animated, it looked, it looks way better than this, but I guess we'll see in the later episodes. And I'm guessing before the game became um like a uh before they got trapped in the game I, i'm guessing they used like a menu system for their attacks and everything because in the first episode um it's like uh they start off with a different scene they start off with a scene later in the episode and then they come back to it and they were using menus and everything and then after they figure out like hey we can do all our attacks by um voice control and everything what was my point man it is hard doing this stuff off the top of my head. Yeah, the menu system is gone. It's it's more free and everything. Make us free? No, you, you guys don't like that anime. <laughs> uh, it's basically a dumb way of saying that you're playing a game in a more realistic way. Because, I don't know, it, it, was, it just seemed like it was a very stupid thing. You know, like, we can't use the menus now. Um, oh my god, what's going to happen? I, I guess... When you make a realistic game, you should make it try to make it really realistic as possible. And they didn't seem like they did that with this game before everything. If you understand what I'm saying? Um, like, why are there menus for attack combos and everything? Shouldn't they just automatically be able to do that? I, I don't know. That just seems kind of stupid. And the main character has like a backstory where he had this group, but it wasn't a guild. It was just a group that was really strong. Um, tea Party or something. I don't know. That's a dumb name. And I guess they split up somehow, but it was just a video game back then, so I don't know how serious it got. I mean, if you die in the game, you're revived, so I don't see what's the problem here. So far, like, if you die, you, you revive, um, you're revived at this cathedral sort of place, and <laughs> how would you feel if you're, like, the first guy who died in the game? I would be, I don't know, I would just, like, break down. And then I'm like, oh, I woke up in the cathedral. Thank God. <laughs> and then right now, I think the plot is somewhat of um, people are starting to kill other players. And I, how is that a problem? I mean, you get revived. But I, they can steal your loot and everything. But other than that, it's not a big deal. And the creator seems to be engaged with the fans. You know, he, uh, he or she, I believe it's a he. He was answering questions and he talked to them on 4chan. I don't like that site. That site is weird. That's like one of those weird sites like 4chan. That's really weird. Reddit is kind of weird. Um, Tumblr is kind of weird too. You can't really follow any anime accounts because they always post weird stuff. And I think some people might like this series more because one of the main complaints about Sword Art Online was like, oh, this isn't a game. This is more like a romance and drama sort of thing. Um, I like Sword Art Online. I like it more than this so far. And I guess people like learning more about the game, so this one's taking its time. You know, with Sword Art Online, it had this huge concept with all these levels and everything, but we didn't explore most of it. And this, with this series, um, it's taking its time with its plot. It feels more like a game. And an issue that was set up in episode one still hasn't been resolved, and I like that. It's going slowly. And I hate when anime is pretty much go cartoon speed. You know, in a cartoon, if they have something that they want to do, the, in the next scene, they'll already be there, or they'll already be doing it. And animes are normally slower. 
But other than that, those are my first impressions on Log Horizon, the first two episodes. Thank you for watching, and sorry if my thoughts are all over the place and jumbled, but yeah, that's me. You can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, but I have an essay to do, so this video might be uploaded later. Peace.